Hi friends, this university has waived application fee for international students. Amazingly, international students whose country's official language and the language of instruction in higher education is English do not need to submit IELTS or TOEFL. And specifically for international students, the amount of automatic scholarships you get upon admission depends on the information you entered in what they call financial responsibility form that you would download and fill out prior to submitting your admission application form. The form basically asks about information such as your parents' annual income, the size of applicant household, that is the number of siblings and self-siblings you have, your parents' employment history, and so on. And this funding is automatic. In addition to these benefits, the school does not require test scores such as ACT and SAT. And amazingly, you get notified on the status of your application within two weeks of submitting a complete application. The school offers both undergraduate and graduate programs and accepts transfer students. Additionally, my subscribers asking about nursing and public health programs. This university also offers them. Thank you for subscribing. I'm here to make your study abroad easier. My name is Kelechi. If you are new here, the aim of my channel is to share with you universities and colleges that offer international students automatic scholarships and require no application fee. It takes a lot of time to get this done. So I've decided to make your life easier so that people who do not have the finance to study abroad are not left behind. A lot of study abroad opportunities have been shared on this channel and feedbacks from people have been really amazing. Apart from going through the study abroad journey myself, I have assisted and continue to guide a lot of international students to their dream schools and programs, including scholarships. Please guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. Subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I post video. Now, I'm going to walk you through the official website of the university where I'm going to demonstrate how to apply for admission, how to fill the financial responsibility form and explain the remaining documents required for admission and also show the different programs available. So we are right inside the official website of the university and as you can see right on the screen, we make the application process easy and affordable. When you apply, you will take advantage of these benefits. No application fee, no essay required, test scores are optional, no immediate official transcripts required that is to say that it's not like they will not ask you to submit your official transcript in a later date but for admission purposes if they accept unofficial transcripts then after they must have given you admission they might request official transcript from you and knowingly you will be eager to hear back from us you can count on a decision within two weeks of submitting your complete application if admitted, you will even find out how much merit scholarship you have earned. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also like the video. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. And additional information for undergraduate applicants. You can see right here, just to confirm what I stated that SAT and SCT scores are optional. You can see that they put asterisk sign against it which means under here, if you can't provide one of these scores, please submit a 250 word personal essay on a topic of your choice. So they're not giving you any topic, just write anything. You can even write about yourself, just 250 words. If you have, if you don't, do not have SAT or SAT score, then to see the graduate programs, all you need to do is to click on academics. Then you click on majors and minors under the same academic, you will see graduate program section. So let us take the undergraduate first. Then you can see right here that they have 37 undergraduate majors, 41 minors, 10 pre-professional programs and five dual degrees. So for the undergraduate programs to have accounting, biology, chemistry, chemistry and business, communication, community and commercial recreation, criminal justice, educational studies, English, exercise science, finance, graduate education, health, and physical education, history, human services, international business, management, they have nursing as well, political science, psychology, pharmacy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, public health, religious studies, social work, sociology, sport management, teacher education. Then for graduate level, they have accounting, graduate education, management, occupational therapy, pharmacy, physical therapy, social work, public health, physician assistant, and so on. For scholarships and funding, as you can see right here, when you click on types of aid, it will take you to the scholarship page. They have grants and scholarships. 
and they even have provision such as work study that is where you have to work while you study as an international student scholarships unlike loans and grants don't have to be repaired after you graduate and these scholarships are for both graduates and undergraduates however they stated that for undergraduate academic scholarships they are renewable for up to eight semesters academic scholarships range in value based on applicant eligibility and scholarship type admission staff review all eligible applicants for the following academic scholarships so there is academic merit scholarship Beck scholarship gateway scholarship residential scholarship transfer scholarship trustee scholarship there are also federal scholarships and institutional scholarship which are winget university academic scholarships women in science scholars uh, program and macg scholarship there's also external scholarship such as butler scholarship kappa grant memorial fund and so on i'm going to be leaving the link to each of the pages i visited just explore it read through the scholarships and funding available to understand their eligibility criteria or selection criteria and like i mentioned during during the introduction about financial responsibility form so the form basically asks about your personal details so you have to enter your name your gender country of citizenship parents that are parent one parent two their date of birth occupation and their title employer number of years with employer what is your parent parents current marital status if they are married divorced and so on then household information which you can see here whatever information in here will, will be used to calculate your merit scholarship that i've talked about previously then you have to list the full name of each family member in your parents household including yourself your parents your parents other children that is your step siblings then down here is information about your parents income your father's income your mother's income if they have any real estate investment and so on after that you put your signature the date and months that you fill this form then save it because you're going to upload it together with your admission application form and to get this particular form that is the financial responsibility form all you need to do is to click on international student admission from the drop down menu you scroll down then you click on application for international student which you can see right on the screen it is highlighted with yellow color when you click on it you scroll down you can see then you click on admission process you scroll down you see the financial aid is available for international students and eligibility for that aid is determined by the financial information you provide on the financial responsibility form so clicking on this link will just download that form that i just showed an admission deadline for international students for first semester application you must they must receive your application no later than june 1st spring application you must submit your application by november 1st so for spring uh, semester, the deadlines have just exceeded. That is on November 1st. However, for summer, you can still submit your application up until June 1st, 2024. And as you can see right here, the offices of international programs and admissions work together to assist students with the following, completing your US taxes, maintaining F1 visa status, obtaining work authorization, processing immigration documents and requests, and all that then to apply as an international student you're still on the page for international student admission you scroll down then you can see application for international student just click on it form for international student will pop out which you can see right here the registration form which begins with your first name your last name email password confirm password then you click on start your application your password and your login details will be generated you use it and log in to the main application portal and begin your application and do not forget to download the financial form that will enable you to get the merit scholarship that this particular university offers and the name of this university is Winget University